Clinton, we're at Matsura's open house here. We're in front of a MAM 72, a rather nice part being machined in there um, as a result of Autodesk's CAD CAM solutions. Just tell us a little bit about your relationship with Matsura first. Sure, so we've had a, a, a very successful relationship with Matsura back in the days when we were known as Dell CAM. Um, and we've used a, a broad range of our manufacturing software in that relationship for many, many years. And of course that, that dates back to say the first release of our Palmer product. Uh, so Palmer was conceived and developed by the Dell CAM organization. Uh, a couple of years back, Dell CAM was acquired by Autodesk. Uh, and it's great to see that the relationship that we started with Matsura has continued onwards uh, now that we've moved into the Autodesk organization. So it's great for our customers. There'll be some users, before we look at this part in more detail, that have Dell CAM software, or yeah. originally Dell CAM software. Mm -hmm. What's the differences for them now, Autodesk, uh, at the helm? Well, in some respects, we're able to offer our customers a much broader portfolio of products. So back in the days of Dell CAM, we, we were renowned for providing very specialized point software solutions. Palmer will be the, probably the most famous one. Uh, now we're part of Autodesk, we're able to offer our customers just a much broader toolkit. Uh, so we've got expertise in additive manufacturing, generative design. So for industries such as mold and dye automotive, we can offer innovative technologies that can allow parts to be radically lightweighted or completely redesigned to just better suit the end application. So we, you know, we can offer a, a far broader toolkit of products to our customers. In terms of the point solutions that they've been, become accustomed to, in some respects, nothing's changed. We continue to develop the likes of PowerMill, PowerShape, PowerInspect, FeatureCam. Those products still develop. We're still spending a vast amount of money and time putting innovative technologies into those products. Okay, let's let's look at this component sure. a bit more detail. So, what have we got here, and what's behind this application? Sure. So, the demonstration piece itself is a it's a training aid that uh, Autodesk and Matsura have conceived together, and the purpose of this is to to help sort of infrequent or new users to five axis machining to familiarize themselves with the left hand rule or the Cartesian coordinate system. So the part itself is a, it's a relatively simple part in terms of shape. The component has been manufactured on this machine using a mixture of high efficiency roughing strategies uh, and five axis machining. And it's the five axis machining in particular that's been very successful on this part. So whilst the geometry is very simple, it's a cube with a couple of cones sticking out of it, when you actually look at the programs running on the machine, we've got extremely smooth machine motion. The connection moves between cut segments are, are, are really efficient, so the tool is staying down on the workpiece as long as it possibly can. And when you look at the component up close, surface finish is exceptional, it's extremely good quality part, and the cycle time on this is seriously quick. Well, you, you sort of highlighted three points there, cycle time, surface finish, and I, 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 forgive me, I can't remember the, the first one, but are they the key elements that you were trying to get across with this demonstration when it comes down to, you, to your software and the programming side? Yeah, very much so. So the PowerMill software that was used to create this is a reputation for not just doing five axis programming out of the can, but actually offering our customers those extra tools to sort of take a good tool path that would do, but actually refine it, optimize it, tweak it, maybe manipulate the tool axis motion slightly to get the very best quality out of the machine. And even toolpath straight out of the can, we offer advanced control over the toolpath point spacing, uh, smooth tool axis blending, so that when you run the programs on the machine, you know you're gonna get really smooth motion, you're gonna avoid jerky movement on the machine that, that could result in defects appearing that are gonna need to be polished out. So this really, whilst it's a simple part geometrically, it really does allow us to showcase some of those unique selling points, if you like, the unique benefits of the PowerMill product. Somebody like Matt Sura would, would probably find doing this with your software a breeze, but if I was an, a new user to your software, these things sound great, but is it going to be, get, be difficult for me to grasp how to get the kind of results that you're getting here? Uh, not really, not at all. Uh, I mean, the PowerMill software is an easy to use product, as you would expect, and we put a lot of effort into simplifying the interface to guide people through uh, getting started with the product. If you downloaded PowerMill today, bought PowerMill now, it comes with a host of getting started tutorials and, and accompanying documents. Um, so yeah, it's, a, it's an easy product to pick up. Key thing for us is that we recognize that there's a lot of opportunities to make it even easier still. So we're, we're currently working on the next generation of the PowerMill product, and I can't reveal what that includes, but we're pretty, pretty excited about what that's going to offer our customers there. Is there an, a, a need for PowerMill even on simple component manufacturer, or does it really need to be a part that's got some some complex shapes to it or you're, you're demanding the types of surface finishes and accuracies that you're talking about here. Yeah, it, it's fair to say PowerMill excels in that complex end of the market. 
Uh, Autodesk offers alternative CAM software products such as Fusion, Eventor HSM, even FeatureCAM to a certain extent for those simpler parts, the more prisma prismatic parts. Palmer could do a job, it can do a very good job, but I wouldn't necessarily Palmer who excels in that area. So whilst this part is a simple part geometrically, it's a complex part to program and it demands software that, that offer those levels of controls. Really, Palmer excels in sort of large molds and dyes, complex aerospace components, really intricate, doubly curved organic forms, 3D meshes, huge sculptures that you want to manufacture with the software. This, this really just sort of just scratches the surface of what power mill can offer. It does make you wonder though when you look at shapes and, and parts like this how you would begin to go about programming them without the types of software that you're talking about doesn't it? Absolutely if you think back to the old days of programming this thing by hand MDI programming I, I'm old enough to remember that I'd be scared witless trying to do it myself so even a part as simple as that requires you know good quality reliable safe NC programming software like PowerMill. And it means when you're designing a part, you don't have to worry about how you design it and what the features are going to be like because with, with some sophisticated software like you're offering, it, it becomes easy to program, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are design constraints um, and you need to make sure that the component is manufacturable. Although, bizarrely, those constraints are, are radically changing with the emergence of generative design and additive manufacturing. So we're starting to see a, a melding of that technology together so that you can manufacture seemingly impossible parts of that technology. And the machine matters, and it's not, not a bad machine to be doing this, this demo on, is it? This is an awesome bit of kit, yeah. I mean, the Matsura brand has got it's a fantastic reputation out there. I've known them for many, many years. Uh, I've driven many of these machines myself, principally in aero, and I mean, the reputation, they're bulletproof in terms of build quality, reliability. You can see from the part we've cut, machine motion, surface finish is just fantastic. Looks great. Thanks, Clinton. You're welcome. Thank you.